There are things that God wants to do for you, God wants to do in you, and God wants to do through you, God wants to do for your family, for your ministry, but they're not happening. What's the problem? Well, maybe the problem is you need to pray until something happens. I want to encourage you that, that, that God is willing to answer your prayers. He, he is able to answer your prayers, but often He's waiting. He's waiting to answer your prayers. Your prayers get blocked. They get stopped by spiritual warfare. They're not answered right away because there's, your motives are impure or there's sin in your life. He's not answering what right away because He's got a bigger picture, a bigger plan. We don't always know, but we do know this. That if God's put it on your heart, if it hallows his name, if it accomplishes his will, if it advances his kingdom, he wants us to pray until something happens. Luke chapter 11, Jesus' disciples asked him, they said, Lord, teach us to pray. Teach us to pray. And he taught them the prayer we call the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name and on and on. But then he tells them a story to teach them to pray. It's a story about a man who went to his friend at uh, midnight. Listen to what it says. Luke chapter 11, verse 5. And he said to them, Which of you shall have a friend? And go to him at midnight and say to him, Friend, lend me three loaves. For a friend of mine has come in on his journey, and I have nothing to set before him. And he will answer from within and say, Don't trouble me. The door is now shut. My children are with me in bed. I cannot rise and give to you. I say to you, though he will not rise and give to him because he's his friend, yet because of his persistence, he will rise and give him as many as he needs. You see what's happening here? This man goes to visit. A, he's got a friend come in from out of town. He doesn't have any food for him. He wants to get, at least give him some bread. He goes next door to his other friend and says, hey, can you give me three loaves of bread for my friend who just got in from out of town? And the guy is like, I'm in sleep, I'm in bed, don't bother me. The guy keeps banging. He keeps knocking. He doesn't quit. And the man inside said, look, I'm not going to do this because you're my friend. I'm going to do this because you're driving me crazy. You keep persisting because of your persistence. I'm going to give you the bread you need. And then God follows it up with this promise. He says in verse 9, So I say to you, ask, or literally keep on asking, and it shall be given unto you. Seek, keep on seeking, and you shall find. Knock, keep on knocking, and the door will be open unto you. Persistence gets answers that would not otherwise be attained. He got his answer because of his persistence. And God promises to respond to persistent prayer. He says, keep on asking and it shall be given unto you. If it's a request that honors God's name, advances his kingdom, accomplishes his will, he says, keep on asking and it will be given unto you. I want to encourage you. I'm inviting a lot of my friends from all over the world to join us, to join me, to join with hundreds of churches and thousands of people as we begin the new year in January with 21 days of focused prayer, more people praying more often, more effectively, more together than ever before. And I want to encourage you to join us. You can sign up today, and I would appreciate that. Go to www.21days. Prayer.org. No of 21 days prayer.org. And I want to encourage you between now and then, pray until something happens.